Welcome to the International Racquetball Federation 18th World Championships. I'm Laura McCormick and I'm joined by Jen Saunders from Canada and Tim Baghurst who is representing the International Racquetball Federation. Um, Jen, you've played a lot of these international events. You've played on the LPRT, you've played the Pro, Pro Tour. I'm curious, what's your opinion in how women's racquetball has changed or developed over those years? Well, it's become a sup uh, just as exciting as the men's sport, if not more exciting. Uh, we have so many young, talented players representing uh, a broad range of countries. You can see it on the uh, Ladies Professional Racquetball Tour. Um, if you look at the top 16, there's probably uh, five, six, seven countries represented even in the top 16 on the Pro Tour, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, I think there's one or two Americans in the top eight, which is completely different than when I first started playing in 2002, where it was pretty much uh, Americans, Canadians, and Mexicans. So just to watch um, the young players, they're athletic, they're diving, they're fearless. It's uh, women's racquetball has come a long way. And so you've played both singles and doubles. Um, can you talk a little bit about maybe your preference yeah. or how they're different? Because I know a lot of people end up playing doubles at local clubs, and then it's very exciting. So what's your take on that? I mean, yeah, doubles for the uh, average racquetball player is generally more fun. Um, there's more camaraderie. Um, probably don't have to cover as much court, so you can spend more time um, playing. For me, when I was uh, really in the prime of my career, I preferred playing singles. Um, I was quite competitive. I uh, made a couple finals here at the Worlds. So at the time when I was uh, younger, and I was uh, really into singles. I'm enjoying playing doubles right now. I'm enjoying the challenge, playing the right side, and I also have a very talented up and coming, well, probably not up and coming, uh, arrived partner in Frederic Lambert, so I'm having a great time this week. Okay, and so this isn't the first interview you've done here at the World yeah. Championships. Tim, you wanna talk about some of the behind the scenes and social media that you've been doing at the event? Yes, thank you. We are looking at introducing YouTube channels to the IRF, and one of the things we've been doing this week is we've actually been promoting the racquetball that's going on here, just kind of on the side, adding a little interview here and there, streaming a little bit of the matches that are going on. So Jen was one of the people we watched earlier this week. We put it on YouTube and a short interview afterwards. So if you have an opportunity, I encourage you to go to YouTube, look for International Racquetball Federation, see some of the matches that we've had over the last 12 years actually that are now up there and it's a great opportunity to see how racquetball has changed over the last 12 years and also see some of the new players that are coming up in the juniors and seniors. Great, well there's lots of racquetball for you racquetball fans out there. You can go to internationalracquetball.com for more information. Check out the events and the schedules, past events, future events, it's all there. Thank you Jen for joining me and giving me your input on how racquetball has changed for women and thank you Tim. Thank you all for watching and make sure you check out internationalracquetball.com.